What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the 4Me key software here in order to bypass the iCloud activation lock on the iPhone 10 and lower. And this is going to work on iOS 14.8 or lower. So the program is available here on the Tenorshare website, Tenorshare 4Me key, and it's available for both Mac and Windows. On Windows, it goes all the way down to Windows 7, so it does have enough support. Now, as I said, this is going to work on the iPhone 10 and lower. It's not going to support the iPhone 11 or or 12 or 10 Max and so on because those use a different chip but for the iPhone 10, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6s and so on this will work fine. Now all the information you need is already available here on their website but I'm going to show you step by step how to use the software in order to get rid of this screen here activate iPhone. So once you get the program if you're on a Mac you're going to have a DMG file like this which when mounted you're going to get an application that you have to drop into the application folder. I already did that. On Windows it's a standard setup application. So let me actually demonstrate real quick that my device is locked. I'm going to open QuickTime and I'm going to select my device here. And as you can see, once I open the device, it's on the hello screen, but as you can see, it is indeed locked. It says in here, it may take a few minutes to activate your device, but after that, you're going to see that my device is indeed locked. So as you can see, it asks for a username and a password, but yeah, I cannot press next in here. It does require some proper credentials. So let's get rid of the screen in here. I'm going to open the program and I'm going to select remove iCloud lock. So it says in here, remove iCloud activation lock, so precautions before use. Bypass activation lock will jailbreak your device and please connect only one iOS device at a time. Now there is a disclaimer here that you definitely need to check before doing this. Your SIM card will not work with this, the activation is tethered, so you're going to have to redo it every single time you reboot your phone and this is only working on the A7 through A11 devices, which means iPhone 10 and lower. And do keep in mind that for the moment iOS 15 is not supported. So I'm going to press next in here and as you can see it detected my device real quick. It's running 14.8, the latest of iOS 14 and it's the latest version of the iPod, iPod Touch 7 generation. So I'm going to press start to remove in here. It's going to do its procedure and as you can see now it says in here welcome to iPod and remove the iCloud activation lock successfully. Now if you press get started there you can see that it now works. Now even though it shows signal bars in there that's an effect from QuickTime that I'm using in here in order to capture images from the device. It's not really having a sim card because this one is an iPod but yeah you can see that I do have check rain in here I do have multiple other things but it does work fine you can even open the app store and get some applications if you want to so yeah you can see that now the device is indeed working fine so yeah, that's basically what you need to do you just press in there and that's it if you want to remove the Apple ID you would go with the second feature here and of course if you want to turn off find my iPhone you would go with turn off find my iPhone in here but if you want to remove the iCloud activation is that simple now, if your device is not already jailbroken with CheckRain, the program will open CheckRain like this and you will have to follow through. So if it does show you this, sorry iPod Touch is not supported, you would have to press options in here and allow untested iOS and then go back and start your jailbreak procedure. But mine was already jailbroken. And once you jailbreak it, you're going to go back here to this program. So yes, this is going to use CheckRain in the background, but in my case, my device was already jailbroken with CheckRain. So to recap, this does work for the iPhone 10 and lower. It works on iOS 14.8 and lower, doesn't support iOS 15 and it's actually tethered and your SIM card will not work. But you will be able to install applications, you will be able to use the phone normally so that's actually great and you can even jailbreak your device with CheckRain and install Cydia and of course many many tweaks. So you still get some functionality for your device. So yep, that's basically it. The program is for me key. Definitely check it out in the links below. Their website contains a lot of guides and of course it shows you exactly how to use the program, how to put your device in DFU mode, and of course how to use CheckRain if it's necessary and stuff like that. So definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching, I am Gios now and peace out.